Well, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, I'm going to be discussing how you can unlock as well as upgrade the Rose skin here in Call of Duty Warzone during Season 2. So of course, as I'm pretty sure you guys are very well aware, in the current meta of Warzone, a lot of people are using as well as wanting to use the Rose skin here in Warzone, and there are a couple of reasons why. First of all, interestingly enough, the Rose Operator skin actually has one of the smallest hitboxes out of any operator in this game, and in addition to that, the skin is all black, so that means it has a very low profile and is very hard hard to see. So a couple of the two factors that's hard to hit as well as hard to see means that the Rose skin is easily one of the most competitive as well as best skins to use in the current state of Warzone. And in today's video, I am going to be discussing how you can get access to the skin as well as how you might get access to it in the future. Now before we get too far into this video, I do want to give a disclaimer and that is the Rose skin is of course a battle pass skin and how you originally unlocked it was by making up to tier 100 in the season 5 battle pass. Now this is really important because I know that there are many new Warzone players that maybe didn't play during season 5 or maybe didn't even buy the battle pass of season 5 and they weren't aware about how you could get access to the rose skin with some people wondering that it may have been in a bundle or unlocked by a challenge or something of that sort and just to clarify once again the rose skin was unlocked at tier 100 of the season 5 battle pass however this is a rumor but it is based on files that we have seen in the game but it's very possible that within the next couple of months you might be able to purchase a bundle in the store that has the rose skin and we'll get to that a little bit later in this video so with that said if you guys can want to enjoy this one make sure you leave a like on down below as well subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest call of duty news class slips and all kinds of things like that so without further ado now that i got the intro out of the way let's dive right into it all right so the rose skin now as i mentioned a little bit earlier in this video very clearly of course you unlocked it at tier 100 of the season 5 battle pass and interestingly enough in addition to the actual rose operator itself you are also going to be getting a set of challenges so that way you can unlock different skin variations for the operator which is really interesting so that's said to kick off today's video let's talk about how to find out whether or not you have the rose skin because of course season 5 was a little while ago at the time you making this video i know this happened to myself but some of you guys might be wondering oh did i complete the season 5 battle pass did i not and how of course you can check so there are really two ways to check if you have the rose skin the first way is you simply go into warzone you look at the modern warfare operators and see if you have it however if you have the full version of the modern warfare the easier way to actually check is to open up modern warfare multiplayer go to the operator tab go to the elite faction and then go over to the shadow company subsection and of course it should be there under a couple of the other operators that we saw in season 5. Now interestingly enough for this particular operator there are actually three different skin variations. The first one is the rook which is the base skin and the skin that many people use when they're playing warzone and then the second one is the near dark variation and the final one is the merc variation and of course those subsequent variations in addition to a voice quip as well as xp are all available by completing some challenges that you got once you unlock the rose skin at tier 100 of the season 5 battle pass. So how you access these challenges is you highlight over the operator and then in the top right hand corner of your screen it's going to be showing operator missions and then you can click on the respective button and it's of course going to be opening the challenges up so that way you can see the objectives that you have to complete and the rewards that you get for doing so. And now before I talk a little bit about the challenge I do quickly want to mention that unless the challenge explicitly states that you need to complete in warzone you don't have to complete said challenge in warzone you can do in multiplayer so just make sure to keep that in mind because of course some of the challenges that you have to complete for each objective would be almost impossible to do in Warzone, but actually very straightforward to do in multiplayer. So that said, let's actually talk a little bit about them. Of course, objective one has a very simple challenge which states blind enemies two times using a flash grenade with Rose as your allegiance operator. And of course, the reward is 1500 XP as well as the Shadow Ops calling card. All right, so of course, this particular challenge is pretty straightforward and it's nothing too complicated. Naturally, the first thing that you'll need to do is head on over to the operator section and make sure you have your Rose skin selected and then make sure that allegiance is your favorite faction and then what i would highly recommend is build a class club that has two flash grenades go into shoot the ship throw them down make sure you blind two enemies and get those kills and of course you are going to be completing this objective moving over to objective two the challenge states in warzone pick up three weapons with throws as your allegiance operator and of course the reward for this one is 2000 xp as well as the near dark skin and okay so once again this objective is very straightforward there's really nothing fancy about it all you need to do is make sure that you selected rose as your operator then jump into verdant or Rebirth Island and pick up three particular weapons and are going to be completing this challenge. Now I will admit the challenge for the third objective is a little bit more tricky with it stating execute one finishing move with Rose as your allegiance operator and the reward is 2500 XP as well as the open season quip. 
Now, there are a couple of things that you can do so that way you can unlock this challenge the absolute fastest. The first way is if you want to hop into multiplayer, I would highly recommend playing shoot the ship. Use the same class that they used when you were completing objective one and throw down flash grenades and then find the enemy that you stunned, go behind them and then execute a finishing move and then you'll be good to go. Now, what I did is I played a standard game of Warzone on Verdansk. However, I waited until the plane kicked me out right at the end and of course that meant that I fell down onto the map with all the other people that were AFK. So, of course, if you do that, what's going to be happening? happening is you'll hit the ground and you'll be standing with all the afk players in the lobby so you just run up to one of those people you get execution and it's really just as simple as that so with that out of the way let's move on down and talk a little bit about objective four with the challenge stating deploy five field upgrades with rose as your allegiance operator and the reward is 3000 xp as well as the merc skin now originally when i was completing this challenge i found it to be a little bit tricky however what i found out and what you need to do is go into a standard game of plunder and interestingly enough in that game mode there are a ton of ammunition crates, armor crates, trophy systems, and all kinds of things like that. So essentially, all you'll need to do is go into a game of plunder, open up as many chests as you can, and of course, you are going to be finding these field upgrades, and then immediately after you find one, you throw it on the ground, and that's all you need to do. And at least for myself, once I got to objective four, I was able to complete the challenge in a single game of plunder, and then some. I think in that particular game, I got between 10 to 15 field upgrades that I threw down on the ground, and it was very effective. So yeah, overall, these challenges aren't necessarily necessarily that hard and if you really want to go for them and you want to get that bonus xp and you want to unlock everything for this particular operator i would say that if you're very efficient with it you can probably complete all of these challenges within about an hour and a half of gameplay and that's just about how long it took me to do these particular challenges and as i mentioned a little bit earlier in this video i hinted about the possibility of you actually being able to purchase the rose skin in the store in the future and that's what i want to talk a little bit about because of course right now in the game files there have actually been some files showing a season in one bundle which would be available in warzone and essentially what it would do is it would give you the main pieces of content in the season one battle pass so of course that would be the mara operator some of the legendary blueprints that we saw in the season one battle pass and if that's the case and infinity ward or raven software is going to be taking the old battle pass skins and turning them into bundles that will be costing 2400 cod points it is very possible that we would see a subsequent bundle for season two three four and five and that would actually make a lot of sense because if you guys remember back in call of the black ops 4 some of the legendary mastercraft camos that were released in the battle pass of the first couple of operations were actually re-released as bundles in the item shop that you could purchase directly so if you didn't finish the battle pass back then you can still get access and directly purchase the mastercraft camos that were of course in that battle pass so yeah that said maybe later down the line there might be a throwback season 5 bundle in the store that of course has the rose skin but of course we're going to have to see it and yeah guys with that said that's gonna effectively wrap up today's for the yellow I hope you went on to enjoy it and if you did don't forget to leave the like comment down below as well subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest call of duty news class subs and all kinds of things like that of course we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers so all subscriptions are very much appreciated and once again as I can effectively wrap up today's video I'm your host Deeper Jungle and I hope to see you in the next one.